We must continue to create an environment where we all feel safe, respected, and supported. The tradition continues on campus. This is more than a moment, but this is a movement. The worldwide movement Take Back the Night returned to Syracuse University last night. Dedicated groups of students who are actively educating others and raising awareness of sexual relationship violence on our campus. The night started with speeches from student educators, a student keynote speaker, and Vera House Executive Director Randy Bregman. When one person finds that courage to speak up, there is a domino effect that happens. The message from last night was simple. If you see something, say something. Once the rally had ended, it was time to make their way out of Hendricks Chapel. And as they walked down these stairs, they are ready for the entire Syracuse University community to hear their voices. Take back the night! Take, Take back, back the night! Take back the night! Take, Take back, back the night! night. The goal of the march to support those who are and have been affected by all forms of interpersonal violence. What do we want? Safe streets! When do we want them? Now! Organizers say it's important for students to be involved in the event. Well, continuity is important, and with continuity comes power, because behind that you build a foundation, and upon that foundation you build tradition, and um, tradition is, is something that just isn't something that's blindly followed, it's something that has meaning behind it. And have a voice for the voiceless. To create a community and empower others to speak up and get help, and I just know how much community is important in like, the process of healing. One message is clear today. The campus community wants change. And last night was a step in the right direction. In Syracuse, Nicola Ponte, Citrus TV News.